Hello fellow engineers and welcome to Instruments of Destruction. Anyway, we are back again. I've downloaded a load of new awesome vehicles. Oh yeah, and this is what we finished on last time, wasn't it? The awesome worm. It's such a beast. Screw you, architect building. <laughs> oh, actually, the, bu the building defeated us. Yeah, the building actually defeated us. But first, a massive thank you to Apex Gaming PCs for sponsoring today's video. We've teamed up to bring my own custom line of PCs that I actually helped to create. Now, I won't lie, these pre-builds do cost more than building your own PC, but it takes all the hassle out of it and you know it's been set up properly. The reason I've always chosen pre-builds myself. So if you're thinking of joining the PC Master Race, consider checking out my line at the link below. And if you use code ENGINEER, you'll get a 5% discount. Thanks Apex for supporting the channel, but let's get back to some destruction. Anyway, let's have a look at some of these things I've unlocked. Let's start with this beast, the Warhead. Holy crap. Oh my god, it's long. <laughs> it's so long. That is definitely not what she said, right? Let's press play. Have we got suspension under there? Like, dangles down this end. I think we've got suspension to keep it upright. Wait, so... Oh, god, what was that? Oh, oh. Oh, here we go. Okay, okay. So can you see, like, when we when we boing up here, boing, like, it sort of softens it. That's cool. Anyway, Intel just in on the fourth floor of this building over here. There's reports of evil architects designing some curved cantilevered structure. Oh, oh my god. god. All right, line her up, line her up. That, that's pretty good. I think heights were also pretty good. Now we just need to work out what the buttons do. I assume, is it just E? Oh! <laughs> How? What? I don't even understand what happened. There's only one cannon there, isn't it? What? Holy fuck. Whoa, that's so cool. Are they just like stacked up cannons? Oh, what's that? We've just got reports in. All these buildings contain architects. All right, I don't know what the spread's going to be like on this, but boosh. Oh, we got three of them. <laughs> right, and of course, the final architect hideout. Boosh! <laughs> See you later, mate. All right, okay, that one's pretty fun. That one is pretty fun. We've got this thing, the Schnell... The Schnell... Schneller Panzer or something. I think it's just like tank tracks, but they're German. Oh, oh, good. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Actually, they work surprisingly well, sort of. All right, what does E do? Oh, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Slow down, slow down. Okay. Well, thankfully, we've got this version, which isn't German. It's called the Spiky Michael. <laughs> look how cool the wheels look. Oh, wow. That is literally... Oh, it doesn't like that at all. Look at all the sparks. Oh, well, that is quite pretty, actually. It's like a Catherine wheel. My frame rate doesn't seem to like it, though. But how does this building like it? Oh, ooh. Oh, yeah, that's, that's doing the job, right? That is doing the job indeed. <laughs> There's so many particles going on. I think YouTube compression is going to hate this one. But a break, break. It doesn't have the most grip. Sort of love that this thing's sitting on like the world's smallest spikes as well. Next up, how about this bad boy? The Giga Tank. Hoot, man, this thing is actually mentally big. Yeah, I might actually need a bigger level. I think I'm going to shoot over like all the buildings. <laughs> all right, anyway, can we move? Oh, we can move the gun up. Can we move it down though? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's that's pointing down. Let's try and destroy that building up there. Oh, the turret actually moves around. Whoa. <laughs> Look at the antenna. Look at it wiggle. Okay, this one's quite cool. I like this now. All right, we're going to see how precise it is. We're going to try and take out that middle building of three. So that looks pretty lined up. I assume, is it just E? What? <laughs> what? You got a cannon that big? And that's all we do? There's got to be more to this. There's got to be more. Like, look at the barrel. It looks insane. Are they not magnets? Actually, what if we press T? So you can see down the barrel, the magnets are doing something. If we shoot now... Ah, we can we can store cannonballs in there. Let's get a load of them. And then if we press R... Yeah. I mean, it's accurate. You can't say it's not accurate. Oh, man. I feel like we may have completely filled this barrel now. They're literally, like, poking out the end. But we're finally over a thousand shots fired. I can't believe I actually pressed the E key that many times. If this does anything, I will be well and truly surprised. <laughs> Look at the barrel. <laughs> oh, that is chocker. All right, I think we'll try. Oh, no, the frame rate is not happy. Anyway, we're pointing at this building. Let's let's go over this side. We'll zoom out a little bit. 
Let's see if this does anything. Right, we press R. Ooh! Whoa! Whoa! Building has gone. Tank nearly went off the edge. Oh, oh man, it's literally raining balls. Most importantly, we got the frame rate back. Oh, yeah. Giga tank for the win. All right, next up, we got this little guy. He's like on a motorbike. He sort of looks like he's jousting. No, oh, it doesn't It doesn't cope with bumps very well. It's not an off-roader, this motorbike. But look, an actual motorbike. His feet are definitely off the ground. They're not stabilizers. They're definitely legs. And our, our little jousting thing is actually a cannon. A terrible cannon. Charge! Oh, actually, if you do a bit of left and rightage... How did that do that? So, we crash into a building... We do a little bit of left and right. And we've literally bored our way through. And we're out the other side. Oh, we're literally doing a wheelie. We are a cool 14-year-old. And then the building comes down on our head. Nice. Well, he was surprisingly efficient, considering he's on his side wiggling away. But I feel like this is the perfect level for this machine. It's called the rope pulling. It actually looks like a proper beast, but check out what's behind it. It's a huge rope. Now, the instructions for this is you just drive around a building and then watch what happens. I imagine this is going to work like a cheese wire. So there you go. There's our tail. Let's try and catch up with it. Oh, we're like, we're anacondering this entire city. Oh my goodness. It is coming down in a big way. There goes one tower. Considering all I've done is, like, drive around this thing in circles, we're doing a lot of damage. <laughs> all right, and then let's drive back to the start and see if that will take out the final chunk. Oh, look at it. Look at it. <laughs> a dog lead that turns cities into rubble. Oh, H drops the rope. So now we're free. You're free, little dog. And dog, no, no, you, ne you never learned to swim. Well, that was a short-lived freedom. All right, next up, we got this one. I downloaded it because it says don't click. Don't click on this plane. It is a bad version of Jet 2 Holidays. I don't know how to delete it. Well, there it is. Jet 2 Holidays. They're pretty cheap. Do they have the quality? That is the question. So this is all it does. I mean, it's probably as reliable as a Jet 2 Holidays. No offense to that company, but I uh, <laughs> haven't heard the best of things from them. How about this, though? It's the Death Star, apparently. It's not, it's not very circular. But it does have a huge ass laser cannon on the front. So first off, we take off. All right, and now we are the Death Star. So we just slowly fly over to this complex. I assume it's some architectural firm. They've done quite well for themselves ripping off people, but not anymore. So we go to fire and you realize, oh, we're, we're shooting too high, but we can move the laser. Oh, yes, we can move the laser. Oh, not very far. Come on, lean down, lean down. <laughs> We just got to get the momentum of the wobble up. I mean, or we can just we can just lower some air. All right, ready? Here it goes. Here it goes. Boosh. <laughs> there we go. Slice through everything. Oh man, it's like it's like a red hot knife. Certainly did some damage. What if we do a little bit of rotation? We might need to fill up with a bit of air. Yeah, I mean, it's powerful, but it's it's not really it's not quite got the same power as the actual Death Star. Does it? <laughs> anyway, this is called the Weed Whacker Hovercraft. Which I assume means it's going to spin absolutely mentally. So how does this work? Oh, it, the cables are actually floating up. Okay, so E. Oh, E does the spin. Oh, wow, look. It spins about the middle. Which means we can steer? Oh, this is ingenious. Sort of. It's still quite hard to steer. All right, here we go. I'm, so, I'm sort of in control. Oh, goodness. <laughs> All right, ready? Ready? Let's see the damage this does. Oh, we are treating that building like it's a weed. <laughs> oh man, they're all coming down. They are all coming down. All right, let's try and get in the middle. Look at the tower. It's being whipped. All right, here we go. Ready? Ready? Boosh! <laughs> Come on, weed whacker. Smash through the... That is... Oh, that building got annihilated. Wow, okay. Let's turn those off. Considering this is just like a few little bits of cable. That did some damage. But for this next one, we're sort of going back to the worm idea. But look at this thing. It's called the Thunder Mole. And uh, basically, it's like a huge thruster propelled drill. So we press E. Look at that. It's like a pen. It's like a crayon. And then Q puts the old thrusters on. And then we just sort of steer where we want to go. All right. So yeah, basically, just, just line up where you want to go. Then tap Q. And then just leave the drill to do the rest. Oh, <laughs> 
Let's go straight through. Straight through. Oh, it drills so tastefully. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> oh, what a beast. Ready? Through this tower. Boosh. <laughs> this thing may not be the easiest to control, but it's so damn cool. All right, let's try and watch this building from the other side. Are we ready? No, I completely missed. I told you it's not very easy. <laughs> but yeah, this one, this one's pretty decent. I do, I love the spinning lasers. That is a very, very cool feature. What is that cable doing? But yeah, pretty, pretty hard to control, if I'm honest. But what I'm hoping is a little bit easier to control. Look at this. So this is a Scorpion with more controls than the Starship Enterprise. Now, I think first off, I probably want to like curl the tail up. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, wow. That looks absolutely beasty. So what does left? Oh, I can literally, I can steer the tail. Okay. Uh, shall we start from left to right? So Z. Oh, I can, I can spin my claws. <laughs> this is so cool. <laughs> so left shift. Oh, and then tab opens them. I'm literally like the clamp guy out of Futurama. And next up, we got three. Oh, I can lift them up. Oh, my goodness. Three and four lifts the claws up. That is terrifying. That actually looks terrifying like that. I can make them wider. I can then clap. <laughs> All right, so we move forward. I assume we don't actually have walking legs. You see, we just got little caterpillars down there. Oh, no, we've tripped up the stairs. <laughs> All right, sadly, it appears we've been defeated by the stairs. As mean as this thing looks. All right, here we go. I'm on my tiptoes. I'm on my tippy toes. Ow. No, I got tripped over. <laughs> okay, we made up the stairs. We made up the stairs, right? Okay, right. I really want these pincers to, like, pin something. How about that tower straight ahead? So, ready? Tower is sort of in the claw. So, if I now press left. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we proper chopped it off. <laughs> Oh, it's going to land on us. <laughs> oh, man, that was that was one chomp. All right, can we do like the same with this building? If we just get our claw like sort of there and then chomp. Oh, ready? Chomp. Oh, it's so cool. It's so destructive. Okay, that is gone. That is gone. I feel like it's time to use our stinger. So is it? Is it R to use the stinger? Oh, yep. Yeah, there it is. There it is. And of course, we can we can move this all about everywhere, causing not only utter destruction, but also creating a mini rave as well. Uh, yeah, that, that's pretty good. And then what does he do? Oh, I got super lasers out the front. So I assume if I like lift my front up a bit. Yeah, that building, that building's had it. You can see the laser just cutting through the bottom of this building. Oh, <laughs> see you later, building. This thing is literally insane. Look at the lasers coming out. <laughs> Yeah, I really I want to use that pincer one more time. The pincers are so fun. Nip. <laughs> I mean, say what you want. This thing is absolutely terrifying. I mean, scorpions are scary at the best of time, but mechanical. Like, look at this tail. Like, it's got little cables to make it all look curved. And fair play person that made this. Absolutely insane. I would quite like to see, though, whether we could get, like, a walking one in this. I don't think it would be possible. But yeah, great work. Right, we're going to leave that there, guys. I'm going to say peace, love, and raving scorpions. Uh, 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 uh.